रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी दैट इज हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी जी स्टूडेंट्स हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इज डिफाइंड इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स हाइपरसेंसिटिविटी इज डिफाइंड इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स एज एग्जेजरेटेड इम्यून रेस्पॉन्स एग्जेजरेटेड इम्यून रेस्पॉन्स विच मे और मे नॉट बी हार्मफुल फॉर द होस्ट एग्जेजरेटेड मीन्स इंक्रीज दैन नॉर्मल इन वेरी हाई मैग्नीच्यूड ऑल दो इट इज इम्यून इट इज नॉर्मल इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स बट इट इज हाईली मैग्निफिकेटेड इट इज हाईली मैग्निफाइड राधर सो हाइपर इन अदर वर्ड्स स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन डिफाइन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एज अ सेट ऑफ set of unwanted response of normal immune system to a variety of antigens students hypersensitivity may be defined in other words as set of unwanted response of the normal immune system to a wide variety of antigens so to be very precise two things are essential to define a hypersensitivity reaction number 1 normal immune response and number 2 unwanted response unwanted effects unwanted response of the normal immune system ji students there are four different varieties of hypersensitivity reactions you all know टाइप वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ओके स्टूडेंट्स देर आर फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन टाइप टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन टाइप थ्री एंड टाइप फोर स्टूडेंट्स One, two, and three hypersensitivity reactions. They are antibody mediated. They are antibody mediated. Why? On the other hand, type four hypersensitivity reaction is cell mediated. i repeat type 1 2 and 3 hypersensitivity reactions they are antibody mediated hypersensitivity reactions there is production of antibodies in type 1 2 and 3 reactions while on the other hand type 4 hypersensitivity reaction involves cell mediated immunity and cell mediated immunity as i have told you earlier in my previous lectures that cell mediated immunity involves t lymphocytes both cd4 and cd8 
जी स्टूडेंट्स वी कंटिन्यू विद अवर डिस्कशन ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एंड वी स्टार्ट विद टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन स्टूडेंट्स द बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ आईजीई एंटीबॉडीज ऑलवेज कीप these things in mind regarding type 1 hypersensitivity reaction that it is ige immunoglobulin e mid antibodies are involved number 2 type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is also called allergy allergic reactions allergic responses are hallmark of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions and these allergic responses students they may involve any of the major systems of the body i will tell you in later <coughs> portions of my lecture and third one type 1 hypersensitivity reaction it involves chemical mediators students these three elements they are hallmark of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction we move with most important ones chemical mediators students chemical mediators of type 1 hypersensitivity chemical mediators of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction include number 1 histamine the most potent most effective and most powerful chemical mediator which is responsible for the main clinical signs and symptoms of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction what are those clinical signs and symptoms which histamine produces student actually histamine causes smooth muscle contraction and the smooth muscles present in our airways they show constriction which we term call them as bronchoconstriction and bronchoconstriction is the hallmark of histamine chemical mediator number 2 s r s a slow releasing substance of anaphylaxis s r s slow releasing substance of anaphylaxis students anaphylaxis also means type 1 hypersensitivity reaction students s r s a it is basically a leukotriene it is basically a leukotriene now third chemical mediator eosinophilic chemotactic factor ecf 
इोसिनोफिलिकोटेक्टिक फैक्टर स्टूडेंट दिस केमिकल मीडिएटर अट्रैक्ट द इोसिनोफिल्स टूवर्ड्स द साइट ऑफ एंटीजन और एलर्गन एंट्री इन टाइप वन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन एंड दीज इोसिनोफिल्स विच एकट एट द साइट ऑफ इंजरी दे आर एक्चुअली बेनिफिशियल दे रिड्यूस द ऑन गोइंग इंफ्लमेशन जी वन टू थ्री नाउ नंबर फोर नंबर फोर केमिकल मीडिएटर सिरोटोनिन नंबर फाइव थ्रोमोक्सिन ए टू थ्रोमोक्सिन ए टू नंबर सिक्स प्लेटलेट एक्टिवेटिंग फैक्टर प्लेटलेट एक्टिवेटिंग फैक्टर students these are six main chemical mediators of nf hypersensitivity pause kar de ji students these six chemical mediators of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions they have two things in common number 1 contraction of smooth muscles which leads to bronchoconstriction number 2 increased vascular permeability which leads to the clinical sign and symptom of edema in duration okay students now the mechanism of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction students type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is divided into two phases number 1 immediate phase and number 2 late phase students type 1 hypersensitivity reaction starts when any of the allergen when any antigen enters the host and initiates the production of ige antibodies immunoglobulin e antibodies students these ige antibodies then binds to their receptors on the surface of mast cells and basophils mast cells and basophils students on subsequent exposure of the same allergen the antigen binds to the antigen binds to the complex of mast cell and ige okay on subsequent exposure on second exposure of the same allergen the allergen binds to the combination of mast cells and immunoglobulin now students the combination of these three elements immunoglobulin e antibodies mast cells or basophils and the antigen this combination leads to the production of release of certain chemical substances from the granules 
these granules are present in the mast cells and basophils in the preformed stage what are those preformed chemicals we these are the same which we discussed the chemical mediators serotonin histamine thromboxin a2 platelet activating factor okay now students this immediate phase it lasts for seconds or 1 to 2 minutes then this immediate phase it proceeds to the late phase late phase of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction it starts 5 to 6 minutes later and it mainly involves the leukotrienes students in late phase of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction the mast cells or basophils they are destroyed they burst open and they produce leukotrienes and other chemical mediators outside them as a result this potent effect of chemical mediator it pro proceeds on students at this stage the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is called anaphylaxis anaphylaxis okay ji students these were the two phases of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction now what are the clinical signs and symptoms of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in skin these clinical signs and symptoms include urticaria eczema dermatitis okay students now lungs in respiratory system the signs and symptoms of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction they constitute the disease bronchial asthma bronchial asthma which is characterized by narrowing of the airways okay students keep one thing in mind in bronchial asthma nothing happens to the lung parenchyma this is because bronchial asthma is disease of airways and these airways they are composed of smooth muscles and these smooth muscles of airways they are affected by the chemical mediators of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction okay students now eyes in eyes we can see conjunctivitis okay nose rhinitis which we call watering of nose runny nose okay these are some of the clinical signs and symptoms of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction students type 1 hypersensitivity reaction may involve the 
GIT system. And here it produces the symptoms of allergic enteropathy. This complicated term in very simple words means vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal discomfort. Don't be afraid of this technical terminology. Now students, there is often a terminology which is associated with type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. It is atopy. What is atopy? Students, in very simple words, atopy means familial predisposition of any person to produce increased levels of immunoglobulin E. I simplify more for you people that ability of any individual ability of any host to produce raised levels of immunoglobulin E in the body is called atopy. Okay students? Now, why this atopy happens? This is because mainly of production of interleukin 4. Atopic individuals have by birth increased tendency of interleukin 4s which leads to increased production of immunoglobulin E antibodies. And this interleukin 4 is produced by thymic 1 cells of which is a subpopulation of T lymphocytes. Okay students, atopy. Now, in the last, I will brief you how to detect the efficacy of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. How to find out that the person is having allergic tendency. Students, in very simple way, clinical history. The clinical history of allergic responses leads to the clue of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay? Lab tests. There are two types of lab tests which helps in the evaluation of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction students. Which are those lab tests? RAST. R-A-S-T. RAST. RAST stands for Radio Allergo Sorbent Test RAST It is abbreviation of Radio Allergo Sorbent Test Students, what we do in that test? In this test, we just measure the amount of immunoglobulin E in nanograms towards a specific allergen. In this test, concentrate on the word specific allergen. <laughs> Students, there is also a test which is called wrist
it stands for radio immuno sorbet test wrist test wrist test means radio immuno sorbet test students it also measures the concentration of ige immunoglobulins in nanograms but not towards the specific antigen as a whole it measures the total concentration of immunoglobulin e okay so it's all about today type 1 hypersensitivity reaction inshallah in next upcoming lectures i will be discussing with you people type 2 3 and 4 hypersensitivity reaction allah hafiz